Okay, are you a Jedi doing SIF marketing? What do I mean by that? Well, I have this distinction between what I call Jedi and SIF marketing. Sometimes we say old and new school. Um, the Jedis, if you don't know, if you've been in the closet for a long time, the Jedis are the good guys in Star Wars. Okay, the SIF are the bad guys. We could very say good and evil, if that's not too grandiose. Um, so most marketing you see out there is fear-based. It's trying to make you afraid, or it's trying to uh, manipulate you. It's saying, you're not good enough, you should buy our thing, or it's trying to boost your ego. You deserve this, because you're special. Um, or it's saying, you know, be afraid if you don't have this bleach, your children will die, you have to clean them this way. If you don't like, men won't like you if you don't wear this pretty thing, or, uh, or it's creating like craving, you want it, don't you? You want the product, you want it, you want it. You won't be good if you don't have it. So that's most marketing, right? Most advertising you see, um, pretty much everything on the telly. Uh, well, and, and you know, I don't know about you, but I'm fucking sick of it. The reason I'm sick of it is A, it's manipulative, but B, it's um, creating not very nice states. So as a Buddhist, I'd say, you know, unwholesome psychological states, craving, fear, etc., numbing out, you know, distraction, these kind of things. So um, also sometimes it's just lying, yeah? Um, so Jedi marketing would be um, uh, being more authentic, looking for the win-win rather than the win-lose, relationship-based. Uh, trust-based, um, trying to inspire people. I saw, I went by a shop the other day in Brighton and it said, you're beautiful. I was like, oh, that's so nice. And I went in the shop and I bought something from the woman and I can see she really meant it. She sold jewelry, okay, but she wasn't saying you're ugly, buy this jewelry or men won't like you. She was saying, look, you're already beautiful, but if you like beauty, well, then you might like this. And it was like, wow, it just felt really genuine, both, both in her manner and, you know, that she built a relationship with me. She said, well, what do you think your wife would like? And she wasn't trying to, like, just sell me as much stuff as possible. She wasn't looking for the which me lose and she wins. She said, well, what's your budget? And, okay, well, your wife's a minimalist and she's sort of gothic. Well, I have this little pair of black earrings. Don't put this up before Christmas. Okay, so I had this little pair of black earrings and she found something that would really suit my wife and I have talked about it. I was like, great, it was a relationship, it was trust. Now, I actually spent quite a lot of money that day, so it wasn't bad business, you know, um, but it felt much more like she'd sold to me the marketing, the whole thing from the outside to the inside was much more uh, based on honesty and trust and these kind of things. And you can look more of the other videos on the distinctions. Now, the crazy thing, the crazy thing that started happening lately is people are selling Jedi stuff in the Sith way. Now, if you're selling cigarettes, if you're selling weapons, if you're selling, I don't know, something that's not good for you, I, I kind of get why you might go, all right, fuck it, I'm already in the devil's domain, I'm gonna just sell it with bullshit. Okay, I'm just gonna lie, because it's bad for you anyway. Yeah, but if, what if you, I saw the other day an advert for mindfulness on Facebook for a big mindfulness training company, and it was all like the top 10 reasons you need to get this, and it was, it was kind of nasty, manipulative kind of crass, but more than that, it was creating that itch. You know, a lot of social media creates that itch that you want to scratch, you know? Uh, the surprising, five surprising reasons for this, or um, you absolutely must know, or you'll be ruining your yoga classes if you don't do this. You know, fuck off! Okay, so it's like, it's crazy now that yoga and meditation, all these really kind of Jedi awesome things are being sold in equally in this Sith way. And I'd say this is part of our practice, part of our practice as uh, yoga practitioners, coaches, mindfulness, embodiment people, all these awesome holistic type things, is not just what we do. We're not just, it's not just what we put into the world in our class, it's what we put into the world in our advertising. It's what we put into the world in our websites. Like that's also part of what we're doing. Not just because our customers demand it because they have similar values to us, because actually completely bad marketing to ma if you assuming your customers have similar values right um, but also because that's part of our responsibility social responsibility where there's a psychological environment i think of most advertising as like pollution in the psychological environment and do we want to add to the pollution or do we want to add to something beautiful right so um, yes that's my plea to the world of holistic type people um, a because it's better marketing and b because it's, it's better ethics so let's not do jedi stuff in a sith way let's make it all consistent one thing